back. Uh, I know it's been a while, but uh, we've got a lovely, beautiful day, so I thought we'd get out and make a video. This is a um, quite serious point on this video because we're going to deal with the, uh, the subject of flat batteries on the Porsche. Because the major problem when you get a flat battery is you can't get the bonnet open to get to the battery. Now, there's loads of videos out there that cover the problem in some detail, but nothing that really covers it fully and completely, so we're going to try and do that. And when I say cover it fully and completely, because there's sort of three variations on the 986 Boxster that you're going to confront with this problem. The very early cars, like mine, have got uh, basically nothing to help you with this situation. Um, and I'm going to show you how to get around that problem in a moment. The next step up cars that are made slightly later than mine have got a, an emergency bonnet release cable tucked up under the front wing on the driver's side. Uh, you have to remove the plastic lining or at least pull it down, get your hand up the back to pull the emergency bonnet release cable. There are other videos out there on that subject so I'm not going to get into that and show you that but you can find those. And then the third and the last uh, example is the later cars still, they actually put a terminal in the fuse box um, inside the driver's uh, footwell where you can connect 12 volts to and an earth from jumper leads or battery pack. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do, unlock the driver's door manually, because obviously if the battery's flat, you've got no power. So that means using your key. You may find that the top window catches the latch because the window won't drop when there's no power as it usually does. Then we move to the fuse box inside. Okay, so this is the fuse box with the cover off. Excuse me, sounding a bit stretched, but I'm squashed in the car. So what we need is to pull that. And then you want three rows down and the third fuse from the right, the driver's side of that one there. I can point to that. Can you zoom in a little more for me? Okay, so that's the third row down and the third fuse in from the driver's side. And you pull that, if I can get hold of it, you pull that fuse out. What you need to do then is get yourself a piece of wire. A piece of wire, if I hold up there, basically it's just a bit of electrical, car electrical wire stripped at each end. Okay, so what we do is we slip that piece of wire into the fuse housing and slip the fuse back in so that it traps it in there. That also gives you the advantage of the fuse makes both pins, so you make sure you get the right pin. Okay, now. And just to recap, on the later cars you will, ha you will actually have a terminal in this fuse box that you just plug um, your jumper cable straight onto. But unfortunately with the early car it doesn't. Now, what you then do is you take your jumper cable and the other end of your wire and you hook it to the jump lead. That puts power to the central locking on the car and the alarm system um, to release the lock and open the lock. You also set the alarm off so you know you've got the right fuse. That's how to get the power to the circuits that you need. Once you've done that you connect the, your red jumper lead to the piece of wire and your black jumper lead, I want to zoom in, just, just walk in and jumper lead I usually or I would suggest you just click it to your door lock put your jumper leads onto the battery that you're using to supply your power and hey presto you'll be able to open your bonnet okay so just to recap on what we've gone over and go through again you've got 
three scenarios on the car when you get a flat battery. The very early cars that have got nothing to help you, in which case you have to use a piece of wire as I've just shown you, tap into the third fuse across on the third row down from the driver's side. Now that's on a right hand drive car. Uh, I don't know how it works on a left hand drive car. Push the fuse back in to hold the wire in there and it also means that the wire will connect to both sides of the fuse so you get the right side of the fuse uh, pin. Then use jumper leads connected to that, connected to your, what I use the lock on the door. Remember this is only to get power to get the bonnet open, you're not using this to jump start the car because that would melt the wire instantly and I don't even know if it would on that fuse but it will get your bonnet open, will allow you to open the bonnet so you can then charge your battery or jump start your car. The second that you come across is the cars and there is a video, another video out there, I'll try and put a link in the bottom of this video for you to watch that, where you've got an emergency bonnet release cable tucked up under the front wing on the driver's side and you have to pull down the, um, the line, plastic liner, get your hand up the back and pull the bonnet release. The easiest one of all is the later cars which do actually have a proper terminal in the fuse box that you simply click your jumper lead onto and then do the same as we've done with the wire. There's a video out there on that, I will also put a link in the bottom of this video for you to watch that one. I hope that will help you get yourself out of trouble if ever you get in a position where you've got a flat battery and you can't get your bonnet open. Thank you for watching, keep subscribing, and we'll see you soon. Forget everything I said last night, we might have had a bit too much to drink then. You yeah. did, not me. Woo. Uh, we got to see Paul Wallace yesterday, Supercars of London, it was nice to meet him. I haven't seen 